are going to talk about flyweight design pattern. Flyweight design pattern is a structural pattern. The flyweight pattern refers to an object that minimizes memory usage by sharing some of its data with other similar objects. Benefits of using this pattern promote flexibility object-oriented software design, which is easier to implement, change, test, and reuse. If you take this example of car, which implements a vehicle, this car object would be used in vehicle factory. Within that factory, we would be maintaining a map of objects and based on the type of the object, we would be returning the same object instead of creating multiple objects within that factory. For example, if I need a car with red color, then I would be fetching that object and I would be returning. If I look for blue car, then within the vehicle factory, we would be looking for the blue car object. And if it is not available, then we would be creating that new object and returning. Next time, when the blue object is required, then the same object would be written to the caller. So flyweight test is where we would be testing this. Let's build this example and see how it works. Let me open my Visual Studio code. And let's create a vehicle interface. New vehicle dot Java. And this is an interface. Let's create a public void start method. Let's create another class called car.java, which would implement vehicle. Implements vehicle. Here we would like to create color of the car. Private string color. And let's create a constructor called car. And the arguments would be string color. And within this, we would like to set the color of the car. This is public string color. And let's override the method from vehicle that is public void start and let's print a statement called car color plus color. This is semicolon here. Now let us go and create a vehicle factory. Vehicle factory.java. Let's create a hash map. Private static final hash map. We'll call that as car map equals new hash map. Let us go ahead and create a method public static written type as vehicle. We will call that as get vehicle and the parameters would be string color. Now within this we would like to create first we will try to look up the hash map and see if there is a object with that color get with color if it is there this get method will return us a car object with that color if it is not then it would return null so if it is null then let's create a new car object based on the color Again, let's set this in the hash table. Key would be color. 
and the value would be car. Once this is done, let's return the object car back. Now we are done with this vehicle factory. Let's go ahead and create the main class that is flyweight s.java. Let's create first let's create colors different colors so i'll create a static final string array of colors and i'll create multiple colors blue green red let's name this as red and then we would like to first create a random color generator private static string get random color Within this, we will create from the colors array. We would like to pick up one random number that is less than colors dot length, and this would be returning a number. Let's typecast it to int. So that we will get a integer. Now we return this string. So let's go ahead and create a main method. Public static void main string args and then we would like to create a car object using vehicle factory vehicle factory dot get vehicle and the color we would like to get it from the random color so let's name it as string random color equals to get random color this would pick up a random color we pass this here as this would be returning a vehicle, just typecast this to car and then execute this car start method using this. Now we have created one car object. Let us create multiple car objects for our test. So let us iterate through a loop. So I'll say for int i equals one i less than or equals to 10 we will iterate 10 times this loop and we will say i plus plus now let us see here let us put this object creation within this loop so here if you see we are iterating 10 times in a loop and getting a random color and that random color is being passed to get vehicle method in vehicle factory that would return an object based on the color type if the color is already available it would return the same object if the color is a new color then it would create a new object and return back and using that we are calling start method let's compile these classes first java c java it has compiled all the Java classes. Now let us run our main method, flyweight test. So if you see here, every time it prints here as car color. Let's go ahead and open vehicle factory 
and put a statement there. I think we haven't put any statement here to see when it is setting up the new color. So we'll say system dot out dot print line new car color and you take color and let's compile all classes one more time let's clear the screen compile all the java classes run our flyweight test now if you see here every time it executes this for loop within our flyweight test it will get a random color and it would use that random color to get the vehicle factory so first time when it gets the new color it would create a new object this is where it is printing as new color green and the next time onwards when you get the same color it would be using the same object so it's not creating a new car color but it is just printing within the start method similarly for blue if you see it has created once and it is reused the second time same for red green blue so once it has created it has been using it multiple times so using this approach we would be saving a lot of memory instead of creating multiple objects we would be reusing the same object all the time this is a very useful pattern that could help us in improving or reducing our memory usage hope this was helpful thank you for watching